All right, welcome back to Man Down Sports, man. As you can see from the thumbnail, we got a really good episode. We're going to be talking about Caitlin Clark and the GOAT debate. It's uh, been uh, drawing a lot of attention lately, uh, so we'll get into it, man. But first, uh, 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 we got to get into uh, all the other topics as well. And you can see from the rundown, we got a whole bunch of topics to get over. And uh, we're going to wait for everybody to get in here, man. Uh, wait for, to see if we got some moderators to come in. I need my moderators in here. Y'all can also drop in the comments where y'all from, too, man. Let me know who in the house. But uh, man, y'all look so uh, y'all look y'all y'all gonna have energy to, to today or no? Yeah, we 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 we, we up. It ain't nobody uh pregame, uh, or at least it appears to be, because last episode was kind of <laughs> <laughs> nah. We uh we oh at least me, I'm I'm on straight OJ. OJ. I'm on OJ too. I'm on straight OJ today. I ain't get my wings. Normally I get the wings before the show, but I ain't get juice. Yeah. Well, mm. OJ, the juice man, <laughs> the juice. So throws out. Froze out, y'all know what that means. Definitely oh, OJ the juice now. I'm about to start using words like jive turkey and big sucker today. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. I think, I think everybody just kind of like cautious after our previous episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think we just kind of like we calm now, water. I broke, today. I, I broke my one rule, man. I broke my one rule last episode. What was Which was uh, never let anybody get under my skin. And, and last the last episode, you in words <laughs> did it. it yeah, sir. I, yeah, I, yeah I, sir. I think I think I think that was the sentiment for, for pretty much everybody. It was just like that was a you got to put a parental advisory tag on that episode. I just crazy. don't. <clears throat> I don't. I don't understand that. How people don't understand the clear, concise points that we be trying to make. Uh, and that if someone's an athlete, things that, that is life, like it's bigger than sports sometimes. But uh, you know, yeah. Rasheed Rice about to find out how, how big life is other than sports. Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Give, give me the give me the skinny on Rasheed Rice. Uh, uh so list apparently of, list of him and his homeboy was was racing his car and the car that he rented and uh caused a six six car wreck. And they just got out and dipped, left the cars, and and then it was a video. Of somebody saying, "Hey man, y'all just gonna leave all this here?" And, yeah. and one of the dudes was like, "Yep," and they just bopped on <laughs> off. <laughs> well, <laughs> it wasn't nothing. Fa- nobody. It wasn't no fatal crash, was it? Nah, actually, actually, I think that the most severe injury, like, was still kind of minor. But uh, yeah, I think the, that, I think you got charged with six counts of uh, collision uh, involving bodily injury. And one count of, that, of one severe, kind of a severe bodily injury, which and one count of aggravated admitted. assault. <clears throat> yeah, probation. Think, he get probation. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, what it what it boils down to how they uh, determine severe and all that be uh, what the hospital bill is. But uh, he made enough money last year to take care of all them bills and uh, make everybody whole with cars again. Uh, yeah, he might have to shut out some though. Yeah, 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 but he, he, yeah, oh, uh, big, big Roger, he might miss. I'm saying six. I'm saying six. six Easy. Game? Big Roger gonna give him six. Yeah, I think he might get six games too. I'm with you. And a and a house arrest bracelet. He gonna be on the field with a with an anklet. <laughs> well, I, don't, I I'm not like whatever Dallas decides to do. It, uh, it's what those are one of the things that that money will make okay because no one lost their life, so money will make right. it fine. Right, right. Uh, but but yeah, Roger Roger gonna get six, and he gonna put a stern warning out to uh, everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> don't do that again. If there was a dog involved, you best believe he was gonna be wide receiver two on the other side of uh, Henry Ruggs for sure. Yeah. At least he, at least at least at least nobody got. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least nobody lost their life, man. Actuals, <laughs> glad that everybody's okay. That's great. But yeah, he he was definitely. We gonna have a real longest yard here shortly. Yeah. All right. Well, um, this episode is about you about underdog fantasy. Underdog fantasy is the best place to play fantasy sports. I want to tell you about the easiest way to get in on some NBA action with underdog fantasy and that pick them game. Just find your favorite player or any player for that matter. Pick higher or lower on that player's stats and you can win up to 20 times your money in one night. Pick between two or five players to fill your pick them entry. Get every pick right and you can net yourself some serious cash. Use the promo code 
man down sports and you can get your deposit double up to a hundred dollars you got to check on the map to make sure your state is eligible to play underdog fantasy but as soon as you do and if your state is go ahead and download underdogs fantasies app use the promo code man down sports and you can like i said you can get that a hundred dollar uh match on your first deposit and i would want to thank underdog fantasy for sponsoring man down sports all right, man. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it, man. Wait, so, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. What's up? What's up? Wait. I saw it too. Hey, no hey man, don't, <laughs> hey, don't get fired because of us, bro. <laughs> get fired. I promise you can watch the replay. <laughs> hey, it's not even that serious. It, it, it kind of it kind of is, though. <laughs> but make sure you hit that like button for your boss come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, just be quick with the tab switch, brother. You'll be all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just put the headphones in and just listen to it. You good. You good, man. But all right, man, rest in peace, O.J. Simpson, man. He passed away, man. He was battling cancer. I don't think nobody really knew that. Uh, I don't know if Cameron Mace knew it. They was working with him. They probably did. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and the crazy thing about it, I was I was watching one of the episodes. I, I want to say one of the early episodes when he first started recording on the podcast, and he was telling them, because uh, he had like a, a, a wine glass with uh, some, it looked like wine in it. And he said, no, nah, this is uh, beet juice. And so he said this beet juice and he said, you know, I got some health issues and, you know, I'm trying to make sure I'm healthy and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, he didn't say the, the C word, but he definitely said he was having some health issues. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how long he'd been battled with it. But, yeah, he he, he passed away, man. Rest in peace to a legend. Uh, but a lot of people took the opportunity to take shots at him. Uh, and I knew that was going to happen because when Kobe passed, people could not keep from uh, they couldn't refrain themselves from mentioning uh Colorado. Mm. So I knew it was I knew it was coming, you know, uh and uh I I want I want to say I, I I said something to one of y'all through text messages. I was like, "Yeah, they about to eat them up, right?" Uh so here is Cam's response to uh how he felt people treating him in the media. But well, what I will say is this, I've seen a lot of outlets today talking crazy shit about OJ. Mm -hmm. And y'all niggas ain't bring up none of his stats or nothing. The legal system, when it works for, for y'all, whatever race you is, you cool with it. But when it don't work for y'all or you, you think it's wrong, then they're going to still be convicted in your eyes. That shit pisses me off. I ain't going to hold you. Because every clip that I seen yesterday or today or whenever with the nigga in court and he won the case, I don't understand how niggas are still convicting niggas they won the case. Like, I seen motherfucking uh, Caitlyn Jenner write some shit, good riddance. Caitlyn Jenner, you killed niggas in Calabasas. And talking about pa paparazzi was chasing you, and you were, and you was Bruce. No, just no, nothing to do with transgender shit or nothing like that, but I'm just trying to say, the paparazzi wasn't on Bruce, so when you had to be running to kill niggas, you ain't Princess Die, nigga. The fuck you mean you the paparazzi was on you, nigga? You kill niggas and you pay niggas eight hundred thousand because you was wrong. If you wasn't wrong, you would have fought it. You kill niggas, admitted to killing niggas, and then paid niggas because you kill niggas. I heard niggas talking about, oh yo, it's like uh, George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman admitted that he killed niggas and got off on the technicality. He admitted that he killed niggas. OJ won a trial. So when I was seeing all that shit be the day, that shit, that shit pissed me off. I ain't going to hold you. Because whether you're guilty in public opinion or not, you're not guilty if you won the trial. Yeah. And then, like, you know, you get what I'm saying? So if, if he lost the trial, he would have never been on the show. He's on the show because he won the trial. Thoughts. Well, first off, we hit our N word quarter for the day in one clip. Yo, we didn't hit it. Cam hit it. Yeah, that was Cam. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, like, <clears throat> I agree with you. Like, I felt like the the career stats was going to go immediately by the wayside and everybody was going to bring up, you know, the elephant in the room. But um, I think you have to, he was a a, a great running back first facts so why not pay the respect 
I mean, and and the media does this shit to anybody who has a, a sketchy pass or a sketchy record, and they pass away. Like you said, it, it happened with Kobe. Everybody brought up the Colorado incident, you know, immediately. Like this man wasn't a five time champion, wasn't one of the greatest to ever touch the court. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with OJ. OJ was a beast, <clears throat> honestly, a beast. But we're not talking about that first after his passing, which I just I don't agree with that. I have I have to um, disagree with a statement Chris said. He said the media is going to do that to anybody who has a sketchy past, and they don't. It ain't mm. anybody. It's just certain somebodies. But uh, no nah, man, RIP to a legend. Um, listen, they they got they, and they already got their pound of flesh from OJ. Uh, when when you, when you sent that man to prison for a dime, uh, for for getting his own stuff back. Like it was a Heisman that said OJ Simpson. It was, you know, a jury. Like he was stealing his own stuff back. Like this America, right? We know that that this our. If if, if it's my stuff, I'm going to take it if I know you got it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So so they already uh, threw him in. They they threw him in the box for for something that the average person would not have went to prison for. Uh, so they already got their pound of flesh from him. But that's not good enough, man. I, I've heard people say that he shouldn't rest in peace. I've heard people uh, uh, go in on uh, what he was found uh, not guilty of, uh, and it's not fair to him or his love. Like not even necessarily him, but his loved ones. Let 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 the people who cared about that man grieve him the way that they want to, uh, and it's no different than if it was like a serial killer. Uh, in my opinion, hey, once once he was convicted or or whatever, at the end of his life, the people who cared about him, his mom, his auntie, or whatever, the people who cared about this particular individual, you, you should allow them the, the the respect that you would want to uh, grieve the loss of one of your loved ones. I just think it's good decency and, and, and should be human nature. Absolutely, yeah, one hundred percent. Um. Let's talk about some of those stats since everybody seemed to fail to do so, especially Jeremy Shop on uh, ESPN. And I hate to even mention that network because they are one of the, 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 the media outlets who seem to always be pushing false narratives or doing things out of the ordinary. And it's all about money and ratings for them. Um, but let's look at some of these stats. Uh, 2,404 rushing yards, 11,200, I mean, rushes, 11,236 rushing yards, 61 touchdowns, 1973 AP MVP, six-time Pro Bowler, Hall of Fame, and you don't bring up nothing about football? Or, or hold on, or, hold on, or uh, the fact that that man was in uh Naked Gun series, he was the Hurts man. Like, like man, Juice was an icon, bro. Heisman Trophy winner as well. Trophy winner, like you, you really have to go out of your way to not say those accomplishments just because of what you feel he did or or didn't do. At the end of the day, uh, everybody's innocent until proven guilty, and this man went to trial and was acquitted for what people thought that he did. At the end of that time served, there's nothing else that needs to be needs to be talked about. Not not about that. Let that man live his life. He got family members. And what I did read earlier today is that when he found out he had, uh, you know, that 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 infamous C word, that's that's a killer, especially in our culture. Um, he told all his family members, he got all his kids together. He made them sign NDAs to not disclose the information. And I kind of think that he did that for their protection, because had people known before he passed, they probably would have poured this on before he passed. They would have started yeah. the narratives That's before he passed. And I really think that they went out of their way to do that now. But I'm glad that his family was at least protected a little bit by not everybody already knowing. So that's just another noble thing in my eyes that I feel like he did. RP to the juice, man. Definitely. Oh, definitely, man. Yeah, I, I, I like the fact that uh, Cameron Mace had, you know, uh, got to know him and stuff like that. It kind of reminded me of when... Um, Dave Chappelle was doing all the skits uh, about Rick James, and uh, and Rick James got his last last uh, second in the, in the spotlight. You know what I mean? He was on the on the Chappelle show, and then him and Tina Marie sung the song, uh, uh, their Fire and Desire song at uh, one of the awards. I can't remember the the last award he was uh, alive for, and um, 
and he got on the podium and said, I'm Rick James B and all that stuff, man. And uh, yeah, it was almost like, man, your last, your last hoorah before the, uh, before the curtains come down. And, and, and it was, a, it was good that OJ got to be in the public again and got to be talking about a sport that he loved. And I, I know he really appreciated that, especially knowing what it was battling and stuff like that. So I know he appreciated that Mason Cam seemed like they got uh, really uh, close to him. And uh, I thought it was I thought it was hilarious. He was already funny on the naked gun, like Jay said. But to, to see some of his personality uh, on the show, man, it was hilarious, man. It was real dope, man. So, yep, if, rest in peace to a legend for sure. If you follow him on Twitter, he <laughs> him, on Twitter, him on Twitter was pure comedy, man. Hilarious. He's hilarious. <laughs> and to to respond to this comment real quick, they say he was guilty in civil court. Uh, he was guilty of a wrongful death lawsuit. Uh, in civil court in 1997 from a jury who had already been found uh, to be corrupt um, and predominantly white. Not that that matters, uh, but um, a lot of things after uh, he was found not guilty, a lot of things, you know, when they got it on you, they got it on you. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of the things that they were able to do to him after the fact that he was found not guilty had a lot to do with what was going on during that case and the Mark Furman and the dirty cops and all of that stuff that was going on. So at the end of the day, he was not found guilty of the murder of those two people. And at the end of the day, you, you can say the evidence were over, overwhelming at the end of the day, the jury found him not guilty, regardless of what you feel he might have done. So, you know, at the end of the day, we in we live in America, and everybody seems to always say that every time that somebody has an alt with something that America does. So at the end of the day, please just allow that man to be the innocent man that he was proven to be in court for that death, and just say rest in peace and not even you know not even dwell on anything. Mel got the juice shirt on. He definitely do, Dino. <laughs> hey, we we all got the OJ Dino. We man, all on the OJ today. Man, Mel got the SC hat on too. <laughs> Hey man, I got to represent for OJ. Man. That man, that man, that man getting put in the in the in the in the dirt, man. He pushing up Daisy. So yeah, I definitely got to represent. People, people act like they don't know how the American court system works. Like exactly. Listen, if I don't care if it was a speeding ticket, <clears throat> the majority of all of us have went to court uh, with a speeding ticket in our hand, something that we know we did, and, and, and got it. it uh, Got got it uh, moved down to improper equipment or or something like that. Like, listen, man, the American uh, court system is a debate, and whoever tells the best debate will get uh, whoever debates the best will get the uh, results that they want nine times out of ten. That well, five times out of ten, and then there's other uh, insinuating circumstances where sometimes that they, they, we know for a fact that there are people who are released. Uh, 20, 30 years after being in prison who didn't commit a crime, DNA has uh, 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 overturned uh, their conviction. So they they don't usually get it right. Yeah. So how you feel about whatever, man, hey, the results were the results. In the court of law, he was uh, tried and not convicted for what everybody assumes that he did. And, and, and we and you got to respect the judicial system, man. Like, show some respect. Like, that's that's the that's the 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 people we appointed to uh, you know uh, judge things for us, man. And and we, even if we don't agree with them, once all that decision come down, we we supposed to respect that decision. You know, no one is uh, no one is calling Kyle Rittenhouse what y'all are calling OJ, uh, uh, and we seen that on camera. Yes, you get what I'm saying? Like, there we 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 seen evidence. we. We seen that on camera. He him mow down five or six people, just mow them down, bow, bow, bow. And on trial, what was on trial, whether or not he was scared or not, whether or not someone said, We're gonna do something to you if we get that gun. That was was him killing people wasn't on trial. We seen that on camera. What was on trial is was what he justified in it because he was scared. You know, that's totally different from no evidence, and you know, uh, you want somebody to be be, be guilty because it makes sense to you uh but you know uh respect the judicial system man and uh and and you know i i think that'd be best for everybody man because nobody nobody is, is is trying to put that on cow a, a facebook user I, I will say two things to you one a uh the show would be so much better to you if you looked at it on youtube number hey. two <laughs> <laughs> hey. number two uh Hey, different different conversation for a different day, and I ain't I ain't upset at what you said at all. 
Yeah, not at all. I, I, yeah, I, I, I just want to. I just would like to focus on the, the dude's uh, football career because this is a sports show. Yeah, this ain't political debate. So, you know, hey, the dude had four <clears throat> four point eight yards per carry mm. for his career. That's crazy. That's that crazy. means that means if you gave him the ball three times, that you're probably gonna get a first down. Facts. Facts. So, so that's what I like to focus on. Uh, I got my own personal thoughts and beliefs about the case and the trial and all that, mm-hmm. but that's not the kind of show this is. So, and I don't want to get into that. Yeah, and it, and at the, at the end of the day, the day got to end. So, um, shout hey, but look, hey, shout, hey. Out to, <laughs> shout out to yeah, glow, yeah, glow, yeah, glow, yeah, yeah, glow. Hey, uh, Eric. Who can you name a running back or a quarterback or a receiver? Not a running back, but a receiver or a quarterback that OJ played with. Man, you know, OJ career, he played nine years. You got to think about it. He played nine years, and sh- I can't think. I got to look that up. I, I got to. That's crazy. Born when OJ was, was uh, playing Jim Kelly daddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you cannot, man. That's crazy, man. OJ was putting in work, bro. OJ in work. Where is he on the on on the all time rushing list? Because I think, well, you know, they probably stripped him. You know, uh, you know, he where is you know, he on the, real, on the real all time? Because thirteen thousand yards, he got to be up there. Now, now, I tell you, I do remember this from when I was growing up as a kid. That OJ was on before that trial popped up. OJ was like a sportscaster. He was yeah. that knowledge of the game. You've seen. Yeah, him he used to work for CBS Sports. Sports. You yeah. seen him on commercials. You seen him everywhere. And right. to be honest with you, I think it was kind of sad that the man beat the case, and he was almost null and void at that point. No, he never was on anything else. So yeah. he number twenty one on the all time uh, Russian leaders list. <clears throat> top top twenty five. That's, 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 that's only crazy. nine years of work. Yeah, that's nine years. And that's only nine years, right? Mm-hmm. He ain't do the Emmett Smith and say, "Let me, let me, let me trap my little old old self out there and 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 try to get Walter Payton's record and let me do just, all that, man." Just I don't respect. respect. I don't re- you know what? I was cool with what Emmett did, but I don't respect it now, man. I really don't. Looking at it, because it's, it's a it's it's more of a longevity award than what you were actually right. doing in your prime. Right. The, uh, them, them, them Arizona years, them Arizona years suck, bro. I'm like, like man, yeah, it was like it was <laughs> it was sad. So <laughs> it, it, just to, it, it just was to, <laughs> Just to put this in perspective, right? So OJ thirteen thousand over nine years, right? Right. Frank Gore sixteen thousand over sixteen years. Yeah, that's crazy. And you that, know OJ, you know OJ first couple of years he didn't go over five hundred yards. Nope. No. Nope. Dang. He didn't. That's crazy. And I mean, he started piling them on in a short. Ne- never mind. Never mind. Continue. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That, that was good. It. That was, no, that was a good stop. Hey man, y'all, y'all in these, y'all in these puns in the in the comments. I'm not gonna read them at all. I mean, I've already read them, but I'm not putting it on the screen. Y'all, y'all in these puns is ridiculous, man. Yeah, it's it's the, the last juice has been squeezed, man. If y'all don't stop, man, that's crazy. <laughs> Somebody said OJ had wait. OJ had two thousand yards in seven games. I think he had one thousand and seven games. Uh, I was about to say, yeah, he had he had one thousand and seven games because I I think uh, he was Derrick Henry high school numbers. If that's true, yeah, he, that's he was he was he was talking to uh, Cameron Mace on the show uh, one game that uh, uh, Debo, uh, Ayuk, and Kittle all went over a thousand yards. I think, and uh, I think I want to say they went over. Did they go over a thousand and seven games? I doubt. It. I don't think it was seven, but. They had did something in seven games, and he was like, "I, I wonder if was if if anybody has went over a thousand yards rushing in seven games." And then he was like, mm, "That's something to think about." But it was actually him. He was just, you know, it was just him being him. It was him that went over a thousand in seven games rushing, which is crazy. Yeah, somebody in the comments said two thousand three across fourteen games. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's wicked business. That's crazy. Right? So that's 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 the point I like to focus on. Yeah, yeah. yeah put yeah. that put that on the four letter network instead of all the other BS. Yeah, yeah all that crazy stuff. Everything else he did, I don't like to even speak on the dead. So yeah, yeah. Hit it, defend it, it is 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 under the water under the bridge. Yeah. All or right, juice. man. Let's move oh, juice under the bridge. Yeah. So <laughs> let's 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 move to Caitlin Cartman. This is what I really wanted to get into, man. So uh, pause. 
Uh, why would I pause that? No, no that's, that's, that's fair oh, game. Nah, nah, that's, that's how it's game. supposed to be. That's how God made it. It's my pause. Listen. My I just, strong memory. Listen. Right. I, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. What Jay was thinking, and I just this, need y'all to not even acknowledge no nah, because he, I'm sorry, he was all he almost he just, just, I'm, just listen, just because she got the forehead size of a Hoover Dam, man. No, nah, I'm that. sorry, I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all can pick all y'all want. That's a good that, that girl's gorgeous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a stretch, brother. No, it's not. Who you I'm talking sorry. about? Uh, whoever they talking about, I ain't gonna say no name. Oh, uh, if, uh, if, if, if uh, I was if uh, I was Bird a single man, man Anderson. If I was a single man, I'm slapping. I'm telling you that right now. Bird man before the tattoos. Y'all tripping. Y'all don't. Y'all, y'all don't. Y'all, y'all don't know uh, premium when y'all see premium. I need. You know? well, <laughs> that, that is. That is. Well, that's unleaded, brother. Okay. Okay. Keep thinking that. Uh, keep thinking that. That's a. That's elite milk right there, bro. That's your. That's the milk of That's the milk of magnesium. I'm black. Get into it. Tolerant. <laughs> let's get into it. Now, I'm uh, hey, okay, more for me, but look, let's get into it, man. Like oat milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hey, anyway, this uh, <laughs> this segment is brought to you by Manscaped, <clears throat> and it's almost summertime, man. So, uh, it's right around the corner knocking at your door, and it's time to upgrade the below the uh, belt game. And the real flex this year is keeping your boys down sales fresh and clean. Nobody wants to be the guy with all the pubes. That's why our buddies at Manscaped created the Lawnmower 5.0, the ultimate weapon to tame those unruly bushes. Before you hit the pool party, make sure your boys are groomed to perfection. Join Manscaped and revolu- uh, uh, join the Manscaped revolution by <laughs> going to manscaped.com for 20% off. Plus free shipping when you use the promo code man down. Your balls are thank you. Boy, hey, Kayla got, <laughs> Kayla got thank you. Busted, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that what hey, that's that got you stumbling over all your words, man. Look, man. Uh y'all need to get manscaped, right? Uh so uh anyway, Caitlin Clark, man, she's going pro, she's gonna be the number one pick, she's going in Indiana fever. That's a whole nother thing, but you know, a lot of people has been discussing if she's the best college player that we've ever seen on the female side. Is she the GOAT uh, of college players on the female <clears throat> side? It's a lot of conversation, man. I, I'm going a, I'm to a play for y'all what LaShawn McCoy said about it. Oh, Lord. Is Caitlin Clark the GOAT, greatest of all time, I mean, without a title? I mean, duh. Yeah. We talked about how great Coach Daly was, right? How authentic she was. What did she say before she left? She gave her an interview after the game, right? Press conference, this and, and that. Caitlin, yeah. And the last he said is Kaylin Clark, Kaylin Curry Clark. If you're out there somewhere, <laughs> and she said, "Yo, you are one of our biggest goats. You've changed the game. We all, yeah, you guys love to talk about uh, um, Brianna Stewart and how great Stewie. she was, right? Terrence, you got yeah. who else? You got uh, my, my, my Maya Moore. All these are phenomenal yeah, though. Part, they ain't changed the game. Ooh. And every and every <laughs> they haven't. Mm. Like 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 this old girl like Kaylin had. Okay, okay. Every every, every <laughs> barbershop talk, right? Yep. That's, that was a real sports conversation, right? Talk about from it. my background, from my culture, right? It's the LeBron S, the Lakers, it's it's this Patrick Mahomes. Nah, it's Caitlin Clark Curry <laughs> Clark. Think about this. Think <laughs> about a time, right? Because let's be honest, we all didn't watch women's basketball, right? Yeah. We had to cover for our, our, our job, but that's not a popular conversation. Now it is. Yep. This is not my words. This is what the viewers say. 12 million or something like that? Mm-hmm. 14. I mean, Maya and Warren don't want to get in that. It's true. Oh. I mean, Brianna Stewart wasn't getting that. So I say this: she's changed the game. I haven't seen no player in basketball other than one dude, and he got four championships, and he's one of the goats, Steph Curry. I haven't seen nobody like her. And the last thing I'm gonna say is about why she's the goat without a championship. Did y'all see the game? You see the mismatch before the ball was tipped up. You just see the mismatch, <laughs> right? You had bigger, stronger, faster up. girls on this side. You had. Average little girls on the other side. You had one superstar that was burning everybody on the court. <laughs> and this is the truth. And if, if she didn't play for Iowa, first of all, who's going to Iowa? Who's going there? I looked at the I looked at the the, the, the teams, I right? Football players on the Iowa. I'm talking about basketball, girls basketball. I look at the team <laughs> and I look at um, South Carolina, right? Yep. So the game started. Kaylin started going off quick. Yep. I ain't wasting no time. I gotta get my points. <laughs> it makes sense. And then South Carolina started. They didn't do well, but the backups came in there and started balling. Well, who's the backups? Five star, all American, five star, five, five star. Five so star. when I get the other team, I'll see one of them. <laughs> so when you ask me, are you really the goat without a championship? Yes, you you took this Iowa team that nobody's ever going to go to, 
all the way to the, the championship two years in a row? Yeah. Come on, man. Yes, she's the GOAT. Yeah. Shady, I so his argument is that, number one, she's the GOAT because she took the game from point A to point B, and that's as far as that anybody has ever taken the game. You know, of course, the ratings are sky high. A lot of attention is on women's sports. You know, and that's obvious. She took the game very far. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but also his explanation on why she can be the GOAT without ever winning is because her squad is not a powerhouse school. Uh, so that's pretty much his whole argument, man. So I, I want to hear if y'all think she's the GOAT, why, why not? And do you buy his explanation for why he think he, she is? Well, I'm not going to agree with his explanation, but and when you say go, are you saying go to college basketball? Like go to yes. what? Go to college basketball, which is uh, uh, I, I can't wait to I, I go last after everybody else. But I've never heard that before. Like we've never oh, discussed. Yeah. Never, I've never goat. heard a goat of a college basketball team. Right? Never, never, I, ever. Not, not in, uh, not look, not in football, basketball, men or women. Like who's the goat yeah. of men's college I'll basketball? Say, like I'll say this: she promoted the sport of women's basketball, but you can't really say her without mentioning the LSU. One hundred percent. Angel Reese, right? So both That's of them really elevated the the sport. They they promoted it. Got people interested in it, people looking at it, but GOAT, she lost two championships. <laughs> I mean, what GOATness are you talking about? And they don't go off individual, really, they go off teams in college basketball. We know about teams. Yeah. We might throw a player here or there, but we know who's the, the best team. The college teams. We don't really focus on uh, the, the individual players. Now, she's a standout player. That happens to play on Iowa, and I think the reason she stands out because without her, we wouldn't be talking about Iowa at all. Good point. <laughs> like Good we point. Be bringing it up, we turned the channel when Iowa came on. She's the only reason we tuning in. She has promoted the sport, but when you say goat, man, I don't know. I think that's a strong word. Well, here's the yeah. thing. Here's the thing that I'll start off by saying this. To answer Melvin's question, who's the GOAT of men's college basketball? I'm going to hate the answer, but it, this this is the honest answer. Tyler Hansborough. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what's crazy? That, that, li listen. He's the all-time leader scorer in ACC history. And yeah. ACC has had James Worthy, Michael Jordan, yeah, and and guys and like Tim, Dun Tim and, Duncan, you know. So yeah, I mean, if but, if, if, but, if you but, gonna but use the same metric, go ahead, go ahead. My bad. But 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 here, this was where you watch out. This is where you got to watch out. What was his pro career like? Uh, exactly. Pretty much like Mark, Mark like Mark Madsen's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it may be worse. So so what I'm saying is being the goat in college whether the answer is yes or no, still doesn't mean uh, – a lot of people think that run Jimmer Fernette, uh, Fernette had would would, would uh, put him in the GOAT of college uh, conversation. Adam Morrison, J.J. Reddick. Listen, any of the guys that you think could have been the GOAT in men's college basketball are nowhere near the GOAT conversation on a professional level. Exactly. Period. So – Caitlin Clark could very well be the GOAT in female basketball, uh, college basketball, but it it does not speak to what her WNBA career is going to be at all. It, it it's it's actually a different game. It it's not as different as NCAA men versus NBA. Uh, it's not that big of a stretch. But um, what what make her the GOAT though, Jay? Uh, record record Hell setting. No. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, man, she 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 set records. What, uh, what, what, hey, what, Jay? Whatever, whatever criteria you use, we gonna apply it across the board to the men's side. And if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Okay. She, uh, record, was, record was, setting, was cool right there. Rec <laughs> a hell of a callback. Hell of a call. Uh, uh, record setting number one, number two. Uh. Uh, carrying carrying the league and game on their back. Number three, taking a, a otherwise subpar team in deep tournament runs. Mm -hmm. That like, makes that you right the goat. That so so goat. so nobody on a good team can be the goat. Then you have to go to a trash team to be. No the goat. no 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 no. 
you could be the goat on a good team. Yeah, but you just made the criteria one of them of her carrying a, a sub bar team to the finals. No, she was she was she was on a good team. Like they wasn't trash. But you take she Caitlin was off of Iowa, and they are under five hundred. Yeah, but that, but you can say that for almost every team if you take their best player off, or unless you South Carolina and you got ten best players of of, yeah. of at, at least four best players. You gotta be a powerhouse. Not like guess, if, if, if what, you, what I'm if saying you, is if, if okay. So, uh, for instance, take um take Anthony Davis, uh, Kentucky run. They they had they had a hell of a team, but he was head and shoulders better than everybody else. Head and shoulders. I like don't know. Was, Gilchrist was better than me uh, on the collegiate level. Nah, Man, nah, nah, nah not 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 when out. March came around. Remember, AD didn't stay there long. Had had AD gave gave them four years, we would probably he would probably be in the uh, the goat college basketball player. Uh, you first of all, you got to kind of stay for a little while too. To, to be in that goat conversation, you got to be there. I just, yeah, but I, 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 just I, I, can, I just don't think we can use the goat term for college basketball players. Yeah, I, I mean it, it, yeah. It, it's difficult, but the greatest of all time college, like it, when you when you try to say what it actually is, it is kind of difficult to. Uh, it's it's not difficult. The the answer is there's no such thing as a college goat. You just can't you just can't name a college goat but just uh, because I, of the things you're trying to describe. Every sport. Just about no, no. every sport, I can tell you who was the greatest person to ever play it in college. Not really, because because it 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 goes off what you see how how good the player is plus what they've accomplished. And a player that stays for four years is always going to accomplish more than a player that stays for one year. So if you're talking about men's college basketball, the best players are one and dones. You only no, get no, that's a fact. You you only get a couple of Tim Duncan's that stay four years. That's actually really really good. They don't they, they don't usually stay four years. They they're one and done. They might stay to their sophomore season or maybe even their junior, but they they out of there really quick. So if I'm taking Tyler Hansburg's four years and taking First. his stats and and stacking it up against Michael Beasley's one year, it's a no brainer who's going to have the most stats and the most accomplishments. Mike Beasley has nothing but a a, a good freshman record uh, uh, as far as points and rebounds, and that's about it. Tyler Hansburg got ACC tournaments. He's got the scoring lead. He's got yeah, national yeah, players of the years. He got all types. He, he, he got everything. And we know good and well Beasley too. is better than Hansburg. Yeah, he yeah. probably did. Yeah, I think he did get a natty. He got a natty. Yeah. And so did Sean May. But we know good and well they ain't the best players we've seen in the ACC. Not even during their time. No. Yeah, I just think, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's a little premature. And uh, I, I don't blame people. Prisoners of the moment. Like, we just saw this girl for the last two years be head and shoulders phenomenal uh, like a superstar we saw her be a superstar for two years regardless of whether she won the titles or not so i think prisoners at the moment and to to, to jay's point at, uh, or and i think chris said it too she was the focal point of this iowa team like i learned over watch uh, uh, you know over time some of the other players and and what their strengths and weaknesses was but that offense began and ended with caitlin clark you are set up sometimes to be the star because of your skill set. And that's what that was. She's a skilled shooter. I think me and Mel was talking about it. She is a skilled shooter who is also a playmaker. And when you have that, you run the offense through that. That is going to boost your numbers regardless. You're going to score 40 points. You're going to do especially if you're uh, doing it efficiently. But when I hear GOAT, I think of what is like skill set. Like, is she better than Cheryl Miller skill-wise? What's she, she doing defense? What is she doing defense? Is, is she better I'm than Mark and Cone? She, she wasn't. Hor she wasn't horrible on defense. She wasn't no cone. You know, she wasn't she, horrible. She wasn't yeah, no but cone. I'm, I'm. I'm still giving Cheryl Miller, Maya Moore, Holes yeah. Cloud. I. I will and say this: if, I'm, if, if I. If this I name. College was crazy. Yeah. yeah. If I name ten girls, the best I've ever seen, Caitlin would be in that two handful of girls, the ten, top ten girls I've ever watched. Right. Yes. Now, if I name five, if I cut it down to five, Caitlin. Caitlin might be in the five, but she might not. But she might not. It's a, it, it'll be a debate because I know I definitely got Cheryl Miller. I, get, I definitely got Maya Moore. Listen, it's it's the it's the what we've done is we've we've had the same conversation again about uh where where Steph Curry's le legacy is going to put him because he has one unbelievable talent, right? He has talent all yeah. around, but one unbelievable talent, and if 
if, if that unbelievable talent to you, to the person who's uh, ranking these things, is important enough or unbelievable enough to put it above well-rounded players, then then he will be ranked higher than if you're saying, hey, no, I'm looking at total basketball players. You understand what I'm saying? There are some people who have Curry in their top five, top two, or their GOAT. That's true. I don't know. They, I don't know, they, I don't they, know they, no saying people that got him in the GOAT, but yeah, um, they do. No, no, no. no. It's a lot of it's, it's a lot of people, it's the same people that are saying that because uh like they said somebody said Clayton Caden Clark changed the game, that automatically puts her in the running as to be the goat of college women's college. Yeah, but but ball. but listen to the people that are saying that it was LaShawn McCoy. Have you seen his hairline on the sides in the in the, in the top? <laughs> No, but I'm just, I'm just saying that the same people that have Curry. This, this, this is a football player who couldn't name any other female athletes from the past. Like he's just now learning. He couldn't even pronounce yeah. Hose Claw. Yeah. Like you can, yeah, you can, te- you can tell when he's talking. He don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, but, but, not, but not only that, those but, are the but same people nothing. that are saying that Curry is the goat because Curry changed the game. When, when, when you when you change the game, or when you quote unquote change the game, a lot of things have to happen. Um, in that one time, number one, there has to be a player with. Uh, a, a really good skill set, a really phenomenal talent or whatever. Number two, there has to be an adversary. There has to be somebody uh, or something that they're going up against. There has to be uh, an adversary and there has to be some adversity. And and then everybody has to start watching. You know what I'm saying? Because that that, that buzz will cre- create people watching. It's, it's no different than um, what Curry did in the NCAA tournament playing for Davis, uh, Davidson. Nobody knew who he was or that David, what Davidson was or whatever. And yeah. it's similar to that uh, that run that Dwayne Wade made at Marquette uh, yeah. in the NCAA tournament. There has to be just everything lines up correctly in order to, quote, unquote, change the game. It's not uh, – one person can't do it by themselves. If if, if, Caitlin, if Caitlin Clark and them didn't beat South Carolina last year and lose to LSU with the, uh, the taunting controversy and all that, and then come back and still have a good run this year, and, and, and it really boiled down to them same three teams again. Uh, we wouldn't have this conversation. And another another thing about changing the game to change the game, there has to be emulators, duplicators, and nobody is shooting from the logo or like just pulling up from the parking lot. Like Kaylin is, everybody else is still taking regular smart shots that they teach you the fundamental. And she's been there for four, she's been doing this at Iowa for four years. She stayed all four years, and she's been doing this all four years. And nobody, not not Juju, not um, Flauge, none of the other none of the other uh, outstanding uh, lady hoopers are even doing anything remotely close to what she's doing. So how can she change the game when nobody else is emulating what she did? <coughs> you you um. You have been watching high school women's basketball and the lead up to this uh this all American game. Because buddy, they are all now shooting as soon as they come over half court. Yeah, which, so, is, which is terrible for the game in my opinion. But that's that's what's happening now. But that's so the changing thing. changing the game is a overrated metric that you so even too. try to use. It's very overrated. I, I don't when, when we're talking about who the goat is, I could care less about changing the game. That's not even. You can never change the game by yourself. You can have a strong input on it, in my opinion, and I don't think it can be individualized. I think it has to be a set of circumstances, and I think in her circumstances, she's great. She definitely played a large role in the eyes, especially these past two years, being on women's college basketball, period. But I don't think that she changed it. I think the LSU, like Jay said, there had to be an adversary. Her adversary was LSU. Because of everything that took place in South Carolina, and then people started bringing race into it and all of that stuff, but she continued to play great, which made her the yeah. focal point. Like I think that itself changed the game. The controversy changed the game. Like it was more than like she didn't play in uh, uh, LSU versus South Carolina, but that game had crazy ratings too. She wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think it's a lot more to it than just her changing the game. Yeah. And, and when you think about changing the game, man, and this is my last take on this. When you think about her changing the game and the way, thank God, because it's your six one. Go ahead. Yeah, I knew that. I, that was the layup for you to say that. Uh, <laughs> when you think about her changing the game or whatever, she changed the game in the way that Lamar Jackson changed quarterback. Like it, 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 it looks good, but it didn't. Lamar ain't changed no quarterback. L- L- the, the way Lamar Jackson plays quarterback has changed the game, it, it, but it, it's man, still Mike not. Really it, did I think Mike Vick. Are we, I was about to say, are we ready to just delete Michael Vick, bro? Like, 
Vic, Vic, Vic. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. Um, no, we not. Wow, speak yeah, for we, yourself, brother. Yeah, yeah we are, man. Ain't father. no we, bro. ain't no, no we, brother. But, but this, is, this, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, though. Uh, Lamar did what Vic did, but it's kind of on on steroids. But it still has not uh transitioned in a championship. Caitlin, she's shooting from everywhere, but she she got zero natties. Oh, so, so so changing the game don't necessarily equate to winning. Bars. That was bars. Okay, you're right about bars. that. And if you which goes with and, this, and, which goes with this Vick, comment right here, Mike this Vick comment and, right here, uh, what you call it, got the same number championships too. Yeah, but which this comment right here, he said, uh, you know, changing the game is just another talking point to fuel the uh, the narrative of her being a goat. And the reason why they got to use those talking points is because she don't have that national championship, and they can't use that. They would love. They would love to say she won it all. She, yeah, she she's the leading scorer. You know, uh, she's one of the most amazing players we ever seen, which I agree with. Mm -hmm. um, and 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 then you know she succeeded and and won one championship, two championships. That was if she won this championship against South Carolina, they was ready to. They, they had the stories already written, ready to crown her the goat. Right. So uh, Stewart winning three. Oh no, at Stewart winning four at four. Connecticut. Hoseclaw winning three at Tennessee. Tennessee. Maya Moore winning two. Like, them winning those, her one would have put them above all of them. And that's the power of the machine when it's behind you. And that's why the ratings were so crazy is because the machine got behind her. And it, and it's females that is just as good as her that didn't have the machine behind her. Now, why the machine wasn't behind them? Because it wasn't this dynamic of, oh, we got a villain who happened to be a black girl who we go get behind and uh and we go support ours right you know so that's that that whole dynamic made this thing explode on top and, of the and, fact she's shooting threes from 30 feet and not for nothing remember the perfect storm uh men's ncaa didn't have any compelling stories at all either yeah. so so yeah, they just, they you right. want somebody you want those eyes have to go somewhere there was there was no compel there was nothing compelling about uh uh, UConn running running the table twice. Like there was nothing compelling about that. We knew UConn was going to win in December. And I think I think it would be better a better statement to say that she was part of like you know the four horse women that uh, brought out the emergence of women's basketball. But as far as change the game, that's that's a that's that's a heavy tough. That's a heavy claim. That's, that's a heavy claim. Not, that's, that's why not a lot of people are even known for doing it because it's hard to do. It's difficult to do. It takes more than just being a superstar player, which Caitlin Clark is a superstar player. Let's not get it twisted. You know, but she, at the end of the day, I, I changed the game is, I think, the what the, uh, the, the comment said earlier. The narrative of saying, hey, she changed the game. She might not have won a ring, but she changed the game. They changed the game. These women, th these past couple of years have changed the game, and I think they changed it now for the future because what I see Juju turning into, bro, man, Basketball Juju, listen. Th this is what's interesting to me. I just listened to uh Juju Watkins um uh do her podcast with uh with uh PG 13 mm -hmm. and they ask her they ask her about what she's working on and and does she want to extend her range to shoot the three uh the way Caitlin did from 30 feet and all that stuff. And she said, you know, it, you know, you always want to work on your game and you always want to extend your range. But she said, that's not my focal point. Like I have spots that I, I like. I have slots and pockets I want to get to. That's and when I get to when I get to those spots, uh, I'm deadly from there. That's what that's what she told them. So her going out there to shoot 30 footers and, 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 and the same thing when the UConn girls was watching the game against UConn and Caitlin. And you know, they, they asked, would Gino allow y'all to shoot 30 foot jumpers and threes when y'all was playing? They said, hell no, nah, Gino no. Don't, don't, he don't coach like that. He don't allow that. So it's, it's people who are a uh, discipline, a different way uh, uh, and how they play basketball. And you're going to see people that are really good. Like somebody like Kobe or Michael Jordan, is not going to fall in love with the three that can be deadly from mid range. And they're rather do that because they can get to their spots and rise up. Uh, versus uh, uh, Caitlin pulling up from three, you know. So, yeah, I I, I don't I don't it, it, so did, so did, to this comment is on the screen explaining to me what female college player is better than Caitlin. I just named one, Juju Watkins. But uh, if you want to go back before that, I think Hose Claw Stewart and Maya Moore 
And Cheryl Miller definitely has something to say about that. Now, I think what you're I think what you're seeing is Tarashi. someone is exciting and Tarasi as well. Someone is exciting as Caitlin that had the freedom to play with her. Well, like her hair was on fire and, and play that way. Everybody don't have the freedom to do that. Steph did that at Davidson because he wasn't playing for Coach K or, mm-hmm. or, or some coach that was going to uh, or Roy Williams that was going to put him in the system. And, and say you do this. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know what I mean? Hey, and I'm going to just say this, bro. This is my last take. She she made it to the national championship for the second time, but let's just be honest. She got uh Coach Moki got out coached at LSU, and when she faced down uh Paige with UConn, she was just she just was a better player. Her her teammates made better shots, and when they went against South Carolina, it was a wrap because she didn't have her her team wasn't firing on all cylinders. She wasn't getting no help from her out from her other play, other teammates. So. And- to to keep it a buck, uh, Iowa was a blown call away from not even making the natty this year. Exactly, that's true too. So, exactly. One but, call, uh, and that was like an egregious call, but yeah. horrible call. Right. You never oh, leave it in the hands oh, of the refs. So phone lines are open, man. We'll go, we'll take a couple of phone calls, man. Uh, caller from California, what's up? Yeah, it was tough, Dana. Hey, you know the timing was perfect for this because. You know, the uh, men's college didn't really have no excitement going on. And in the NBA, you know, it's like everybody's talking about how the game has, you know, gotten so boring. So now and then after what uh, Vegas had done with Asia Wilson and them, you know, and they talking about starting a dynasty, it seems like the women was just making more noise, period, you know, on all levels. And. I think what they were trying to do was, you know, market that, you know, going into the WNBA. So, of course, Caitlin is the best player out there right now. We can't deny that. But it's like um, you guys said, she had to have somebody to go against. And, you know, I was rooting for Caitlin, but I, I, I was I didn't want Iowa to win because, like you said, that that's all that they needed to just, you know, have the uh, – you know how they call the uh, the the white goat, you know, like that, and, and you know it is what it is. But um, I think they were trying to trying to use like the magic bird type thing. Yeah. Only they were they they were doing it with you know college women, and uh, that that was the most excite, excitement going on right now. You know, in, in sports. Period. So you know, there it is. The timing was just perfect. It was the perfect storm. All right, man. I appreciate that, man. Good call. Thank you. All right. All right. Oh. Yes. He's he, so ro- rolling, rolling that right into the WNBA. Mm-hmm. I heard Gilbert Arenas talking about it uh, earlier today, and he was saying that, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, as much as uh, Donna Tarazi and all them girls want to say whatever they want to say about them, if the WNBA is smart, they're looking at her and they've already said, we're going to put her on TV 36 out of 40 times. Like they got 40 games in the season, they're putting her on TV 36 times. So the writing is on the wall. The WNBA is going to uh, put all their chips in on, on Caitlin. They're going to market her. And I don't care what Donna Tarazi and whoever think they go do as a, to her as a rookie is going to be hands off the merchandise. Mm. Two quick fouls. Whenever she plays Donna Tarazi, two quick fouls. Go sit your old 40 year old self down. Mm-hmm. She's the new, she's the new, uh, uh, the new uh, horse we riding. So it's going to, it's going to, it's going to look like that for them in the WNBA. T-Ray, what's up? What's up, bro? How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm all right, man. Y'all don't see the play? Y'all don't see what's going on, man. None of y'all up there see what's going on. I'm going I'm to give y'all 30 seconds. Okay. Y'all don't see what's going on. And like LeBron me. James. I, I, I just said that right there. Y'all don't see what, what the play is? He about to be out the league. The, the NBA won't, quote, unquote, have a face. So now, WNBA, this is this is the passing of the torch in terms of where this marketing craze going to go. She's going to get all the attention and she didn't have help when she won and she had to go build a team like she's gonna be the new narrative that's what i think yeah of course but I, but I, I that's that part that part is true but I, I i think i think the nba still got a face they got Wimby, they got luca they got Jokic, yeah. so they gonna be good but hey th- thanks for the call let me get to this other one all right bro all right caller yeah, caller from ohio you. what's up uh, t- cut youtube off in the background you're gonna be the last caller what's up Okay, what's up, man? What's going on? I'm good. What's going on, bro? 
Oh man, yeah. uh, I, I was just, I just wanted to. Uh, yeah, of course. Hold on, let me shut this down. That's what, that's what it's yeah, please cut it off. Uh, yeah, man, I, I just, uh, I've been listening to y'all, man. I think, uh, you know, I, I guess she's she, she's a baller, but she ain't no goat. She ain't no goat, not at all. Uh, I watched the game, man. I've been watching the last couple of years. She can ball, man, but definitely. Y'all ball. missing the point. The greatest college player, man, was Cheryl Miller, straight up. Cheryl was Why? a Cheryl, Cheryl was it. She was that dude. Cheryl, and then y'all even Lynette Woodard, man. I mean, it's a bunch of them that played that just before in the eighties, late seventies and eighties, man. Yeah, they was balling. But you know, like you said, dude was saying the perfect storm, man. It just and like now, the men's basketball ain't ain't what it ain't it ain't good no more. You know what I'm saying? The ratings are down, so they had had, had something to talk about. And dude made a good point. Bird, uh, bird and magic scenario. Because mm. I was, I always remember that. Everybody, the white, you know, bird was the bird was bad. Magic was bad, but they carried the lead. So now they ain't got no, you know, in the WNBA, it's hurting. You had a good scenario, dude. Uh, they're gonna make, they're gonna promote her, but then you got to understand too. They women. Women don't like women. So that cattiness is coming out. So the WNBA players are looking at her. Who is she? And it's 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 just it's it's yeah. a perfect storm, man. I get that. I would I wouldn't I wouldn't put that on the the, the fact that people think women don't like women. I mean, it's it, no. They, I'm telling they, you, I'm, but I'm they all compete. But they all competitors. You, they they just want to compete, brother. That's all it is. No, like, dude. They, it's it's the women. It's, it's they catty. It's, they. Man, women are women, dude. I, I'm telling you, dude. It comes out. I know they're competitive, but it comes out. And so you got to think about all that. See, and that's the thing, man. Um, like I said, she, but her, they hard calling her to go. And I, I said that ain't no golden college basketball, but the greatest got basketball players, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, straight up. This from high school, college, and pros, man. I, I don't see nobody with a resume that. You yeah, you're right. Kareem Kareem got the Kareem got one of the best resumes out there. Kareem out there uh, as Damn far as now, as dude. far as winning Bill Russell and and as far as everything okay. Michael Jordan. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean Michael Jordan and see and even with Michael. Hey, but Jordan, hey, but that, that but that but that, that that's another topic, man. We got we we gotta we gotta close this one out, man. We okay, want we man, move I to. I just it. wanted to put my little two cents in, man. Good looking out, dude. All right, Appreciate thank you, bro. Brother. Go Michigan. All right, man. Uh, anybody want to uh, beat a dead horse? Nah, that horse is deceased. That horse is that horse is gone, bro. The way the way Chris and Jay was bringing them takes back to back to bike to bike to bike. Last man, that horse is bludgeoning right about now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 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 hey, 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 how do, hey, Eric, how they be at the meetings when uh when when just, everybody be wanting to get out? Get and not, yeah, it's always somebody want to piggyback. Well, let me let me let me uh piggyback off of what Chief just said, and that's what Eric, that's what I'm trying to go get Chris drunk. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, this will be quick, man. This will be a quick one, right? <laughs> I, and I just I just say, well, you know what? Let me let me play Ala Iverson when he was uh talking about. Uh, uh, his statue, and then I want to get y'all thoughts on what y'all think about the statue. The team unveiled your statue on Legends Walk, joining the Philly greats of Barkley, Wilt Chamberlain, Dr. J. What does it mean to finally have a statue? Man, it's a blessing. Um, it's a blessing. It's, it's something that I never dreamed of. Um, but I, I think the most important thing for me is realizing that um. I didn't do this by myself. You know, both of you you guys played the game. Um, and and you know that you can't do it by yourself, man. So many intricate people that's that's in your life that help you, you know what I mean, accomplish any goals that you accomplish. So he seemed he, he seemed thankful and grateful for the statue. Uh he didn't seem to have a problem with how the face just looked like no facial expression at all. The face don't look like he was playing no ball. And then that little crossover, Lord have mercy. And then the statue looks about the size of uh the MVP trophy. And uh, but but I think that's par for the course for Philly. I think all of their statues 
or uh, uh, or looks like that, right? Um, so, but dang, but for AI though, I know he didn't bring you no championship, but you got to give AI that little trophy. I mean, that's not a statue. That's a trophy. That's a big trophy. Yeah, that's a big trophy. But man, give me y'all thoughts on it. First off, man, my man's braids look like a a nutsack, bro. They disrespected the braids, dog, terribly, <laughs> terribly. That, that, that I'd have been like a what, <laughs> <laughs> bro? Look, look at the thumbnail, bro. It, 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 man, listen, that is bad. That is bad. Like we, we, we had gripes with Kobe's first statue, but you know, it kind of grew, right? But that, that is not. And 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 think about it like this, right? The city of Philly gave Rocky a fictional figure. Oh Lord, have mercy. A better statue that Rocky actually the looked like in Philly. that he actually looked like Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, who is this? Who is who? Who is this? Yeah, that's pretty bad. It, if it wasn't for the fact that Rocky got a dope, huge statue, it probably I probably could be okay. All right, well y'all just missed the mark. Y'all, you know y'all. You know, I mean, it is what it is. But come on, man, you can't have a, a fake character with a bigger statue than all the. Philadelphia greats, man. That's crazy. It's His crazy. statue look like the N one logo. That's exactly what it looked like. <laughs> yeah. And I, and, and I, I, I would rip that dude, whoever that is, because that ain't Allen Iverson. <laughs> we see how that hey. comes to me. Is. I'm taking that. I'm hey, taking look. That. Hey, look. Hey, that look like a little kid statue, man. <laughs> 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 That's an action figure. They got an action figure. They got an old ornament up, the old Christmas ornament on that bad boy, Christmas. man. They gave this man a Christmas ornament. Hey, look how his legs look, man. His legs look so <laughs> Man, why they why they do the answer like that, man? They had to do him like that, dog. Man, yeah, I, they, just, I feel bad for my dog because I know it, it, there's no way, like, he might be grateful for the 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 honoring aspect, like, hey, I got a statue. Yeah, but I know in his head when he saw it, he was like, "Nah, I know they didn't play." Like, <laughs> bro, hey, I he him excited. He like, "Yeah, man, it's a blessing, man." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he took the political answer, man. He's like, "Just get me out of here, dog." Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's not about me. Clearly, it's not hey, about me. Hey, y'all couldn't have called him and asked him what he thought about the statue. Yeah, this, <laughs> y'all did. think he's seen it before uh, beforehand? Uh, hey, nah, I don't, I, don't, hey, I don't think so. Hey, why they give him a Monopoly piece, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that man a participation trophy. But the, 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 fact, the fact of the matter is... I think his AAU I, trophy is bigger than that. I don't think they wanted to give him a trophy. I think that... Um, a, a statue, excuse me. I don't think they wanted to. I think... They had it right the first time. It, it's... <laughs> Hmm. It's a copycat league, and they see other uh, places uh, doing it. And every time, people jerseys and and all that. So Philly wanted to uh, do something to kind of uh, uh, get the crowd behind the city for this playoff run. That, that but that ain't it. That ain't the move. I mean, what, if, what, you, what, if you they, they retired his jersey, what two years ago? Last year, yeah. when did they retire his jersey? Recently, Probably. it's been recently. recently. Yeah. So let me so let me ask you this because I think we talked about this before when we was um uh, asking if uh if Draymond and Clay deserve a trophy in Golden State, right? Who 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 deserves a trophy? Who deserves their jersey retired? And who deserves both? Right? Uh, what like who who do y'all think? Like in my opinion, I think it's. It's okay to retire Clay's number eleven, Draymond's number twenty three, and of course Steph's number thirty in Golden State, and maybe even Kevin Durant's thirty five in Golden State, right? So you retire four jerseys. If you want to retire Eagle Dollars, cool. I, I five jerseys, right? But I think only Steph deserves a a uh, a statue, right? I agree. Now with this with this Iverson thing, I think Iverson. Also, just like Steph Curry deserves his jersey and a statue, yeah, right. Um, so, but what y'all think though? Who 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 does does who deserves a trophy? I mean, uh, I keep saying trophy, but a freaking statue. You right? Because <laughs> no, that's what it was. <laughs> now, now, Drake, Draymond, and Clay and Steph will probably get a get a trophy. I mean, a statue with like uh, all of them in a the huddle with Steve Curry. They'll, they'll probably get a group statue. And then Steph will probably get his own by itself. 
because they want to they want to um separate if, if if you just if, if that's so right that's so rainbow to me though jay it's so rainbow i'm gonna be honest i don't think draymond get a statue no nah, he, he he will he will they 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 that they, they, they cheesy in golden state Nah, but but they want to separate they want to separate uh draymond and clay from uh them uh, uh the random uh andre ai Man, it, it, it just disgusts me how they how they operate in Gold State. Yeah, Draymond, I, in my opinion, is is uh, listen is I think he is a a, a a a pivotal. He was a pivotal pivotal piece in their championship run. So I get if you want to retire his jersey because of the amount of championships they won, Clay too. Um, but nobody deserves a jersey. I mean, a, a statue. Out there, except for Steph, to me, like I, I wouldn't even, you, you, I wouldn't even be mad if they didn't retire Draymond's jersey. Yeah, but Draymond you know, be lucky if he get that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't be mad, but Curry is the only person in that in this dynasty in this run that they've had because none of it moves without him. I think you can right. find another Draymond. I think you could have found another Clay, possibly. Well, Clay in his prime was was, you a know, dog. a no, dog. they found one. His name was Poole. They they had they had his replacement. Yeah, they did. They did. Um, but I, I think that you know duplicating stuff was impossible. So <laughs> he knocked his replacement out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yo, this comment killed me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> when he gets retired, James get coupon for two at the Waffle House. <laughs> I mean, he already got two max contracts, man. Is uh, but what else he want? He he about to ride. Steph back all the way into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, somebody like, said. What else? What else he want, man? I said in the comments, Draymond's statue will be putting Go Bird in the choco. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what? Hey, they gonna it should they, be a backpack with nah, number thirty on it. Yeah, it should. Nah, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the one leg up for all the nut shots. Nah, it's got is <laughs> Steph Steph will get a, a a statue, but Steph will have on a book bag. And the book bag would have Draymond's name on it, that because he's that's how he's carrying them. I carry. He, yeah, yeah. He should he should be shooting a three with a book bag on, and number twenty three should be on the book bag, and I'll be okay with that. Yeah, because that make more sense. That's only. Nah, man, only I, I, I'm with Zoe on that one, man. The only person who should get a statue is uh Steph. He's the he's the reason why they why they was there, bro. So facts. You know oh, I'm mean? with you. If, if you want to give Clay one, I, I wouldn't be too mad about it because you know they was. Uh, uh, dynamic duo, the Splash Brothers. If you want to go with that angle, but Draymond, man, Draymond ain't did nothing unless you want to put some boxing gloves around his <laughs> the Rocky statue. Like and then, <laughs> the NBA's, the NBA's uh, uh, heavyweight champion. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into the last topic, man. We go uh, talk a little bit about the playoffs, man, and, and look like we gonna make really good time today, uh, Eric. So I know you was concerned about the time, but. Uh, we're getting some of these playoffs matchups, man. Let's start with the Mavs and Clippers because they are locked right now at four okay. five on the West. Yeah, so and that's something you know they've they've what well, they've seen each other every playoff for the last three years. I three, think last three years, and I think a play in one year. Yeah, they so they seen each other in the bubble, and then they seen each other the year after that. Mm-hmm. I don't think they seen each other last year. No, nah, because I remember know. Phoenix bounced. Phoenix, Phoenix bounced L.A. Yeah, so, and it's the one year that yeah, the, sure the, them didn't make the playoffs, so they didn't see him then. Now, that was yeah, the year sure. last, though, I think. Yeah. But listen to KG talking about it. <laughs> that series right there, that's going to be it. I'm just watching the league not be ready for playoff basketball. The league looks tired. You're going to see the league looks tired. Five of the most prolific scorers ever in this series. Who going to show up? <laughs> this going to be a – man, the 4-5 going to be a party. This is gonna be a party right here, boy. Because the way listen, George is playing. Hey, listen, right now, I'm cool with no defense in this. Okay. I'm cool with no defense in the series. I'm cool with a 160 to 165 score. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. The over, man, I'm sick. cool. The over 375. Uh <laughs> I'm cool with the Clippers and the Mavericks saying, let's get it. I ain't interested in no series in the West, in the East. Yeah, it is. What? Man, that Mavericks, that that Magic Cavaliers. Maverick Cavaliers, that's going to be a get-on. If you like the 4-5 over here, you don't love that 4-5. Them young boys against semi-young boys? I mean, I ain't gassed. I'm gassed with the next Pacers? You tripping. All right, so they hyped about that 4-5 matchup. Uh, Paul Pierce said they're going to have five 
of the most prolific scores in NBA history. That's Kyrie, that's Luka, that's Kawhi, that's Paul George, and that's Harden. If you want to count Westbrook, that'll be six, but I don't count Westbrook. But that's five of some of the yeah buckets, all man, buckets. all straight buckets. So how y'all see that turning out? Hey, I think it's gonna be the Clippers, man. Mm. I, I I agree. E. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the Clippers, bro. The Clippers, uh, they played them a few times over the last few years, and the uh, the uh, Clippers own the tiebreaker, so. I think it's the Clippers, especially if uh, PG thirteen is playing like he's playing right now. Right, if he like he's playing right now and Kawhi's doing his thing, I, I think it might be too much. It's supposed to be too much, but Dallas got something behind them that the Clippers ain't got. Oh yeah, uh, zebra, and, and that's the machine. The machine. the machine is behind. Watch, watch Luca get this MVP too. Man, the the you know that talk has been heating up. Oh man, and I've been seeing it a lot, and I'm like, wait a minute, these guys were fighting for a play in, and I do contribute some of their their emergence to Luca, uh, moving up the ranks. But my God, I think that I contributed to him because he's finally letting Kyrie be Kyrie more, and I think that exactly. balance, along with a lot of those trades that they made to, to shore up some of his de, uh, defensive deficiencies has allowed them to play some really good basketball. I, I got to give credit where credit is due. Dallas has been hooping lately. But I think a lot of that is Luka saying, okay, I can't be the primary ball handler and playmaker if I need to be the primary scorer. Let me give this ball to Kyrie, and I ain't going to move too much off the ball, but I'm going to go stand in this corner, and then I'll wait to him for him to give it to me, which allows Kai to do what Kyrie does. And Kyrie has been playing out of his freaking out of his mind. Out out of his his mind. mind. He looked like Cavs Kyrie right now. He looked like Cavs Kyrie. Hey, 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 I say this though. He gonna have to play out his mind. If, yeah, that's true too. He, he gonna have to play out his mind. <clears throat> what if, how how short is the leash on this Mavs team? Because if they don't, it's you you at least need to make it to the Western Conference Finals. And but the 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 ceiling is you got to win the whole thing, right? At, at, at what point do we start, you know, chastising this Mavericks team and Luka, especially if they get bounced in this first round? Because this is a, I've, this is a I've, continuous I've been thing. doing it. Yeah, I I've think, been doing it. But if I you think, talking about if, if mainstream media goes, yeah, do mainstream it, media, oh, no, that never. gets their narrative. If he, yeah, if that, he gets that, bounced, that leash as long as the, the day, the, that leash as long as uh, the night and the day. Yeah. I don't believe in conspiracy theories, so I just think the Clippers is gonna take it. Yeah. So you don't, so you don't, so you don't believe there are no men on Earth that is getting together and conspiring about a plan. I don't. Black folks been using that excuse for over. No, 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 no. So, so, so when we in our group chat and we, yeah. how long do, when we in our group chat and we're discussing what we're going to discuss on the on a on the episode, that's called conspiring. So we're doing something behind the scenes. That nobody else knows about. Our group chat is a conspiracy. So if 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 you it, so when the when the when the league officials meet with the referees, they're conspiring. No, nah, bro. What what we do? What we I do? Just, I just gave you the definition. I know. I know you gave me the definition, but what we doing ain't conspiring. We ain't got no power to change nothing. No, but that's not the definition of conspiracy. Hey, and to be reality, at the end of the day, you got the final say on what we talk about anyway. Because I gave you sixteen subjects, and you only, <laughs> <laughs> you only gave me the OJ Simpson plug. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? As I'm C O N conspiracy. Nah, but I think I'm with Edo as far as the outcome. I think that well, if they let them play. Conspiracy theories aside, but I, I I know how that I know how that game is going to be called, and I think we saw even with the women's uh, NCAA tournament run how officiating can change the outcome of games. It can change momentum in games, and so while I don't think they'll say okay, nobody can touch Luca, and then everybody you know can do what they want, I do think that we'll know in the first couple of games uh, how uh, what it's going to look like. But I, as far as just the teams, I think that. The Clippers have too much depth 
uh, as far as you know, uh, I think the depth wins in the playoffs. If you can, if you can rotate guys, of course everybody shortens their rotation. But if you have the guys to to come in and, and, and do what they're supposed to do, and Kawhi is still Kawhi, I think the Clippers would be too much. I, th- I see him winning in six. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but the Clippers are still the Clippers. Uh, <laughs> they, they, they have a history of not doing what they're supposed to do. Well, Glenn not there. So I was I'm, about to say they, this is not the Doc's Clippers though. Nah, it's I mean, still the franchise. It's still the franchise. That their franchise was doing that long before Glenn got there, and uh, since he left too. That the, the simple answer is the Mavs will win in six. Mm. I don't yeah. know how that's gonna be simple, but okay. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared to pick against any team. They got the machine behind them. I, I really am. I, I think the Clippers is the better team, man, but. Yeah, well, hey, we're going to watch the series, and then you show me where you think it was a conspiracy at, because I don't believe in conspiracy. I can t- I can tell you before the series start. Yeah. I if it's going to be one, then I, I know where I, it's going. I, I can tell you before the series starts what, what what's going to happen. The, the only way that they can they can make this uh, uh, turn out the way they want it to turn out is – it's going to be hands off the merchandise uh, whistle blowing on Luca, so they're not going to let you beat Luca up with defense and uh, and Kawhi and Paul George. They can guard Luca, but when you're not allowed to touch him, you can't guard him, right? So the way that they referee the game for defense on Luca is one thing, and on the other end, how physical they allow the Mavs to play on the Clippers, and that's going to be the difference. Yeah. Do you know it was a do you know it was a game last week where the Boston Celtics shot zero free throws the first time it happened in the history of the league? Yeah. They shot yeah, zero free throws. And think, it was only it was only five fouls called for the Bucks uh on, on the on the other side. So they only called five fouls for the Bucks and the and the Boston Celtics shot zero free throws. Now, granted, the Bucks only shot two free throws. But say, tell me, tell, 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 tell me what, what, how does that happen? Zero free throws and two free throws for the other team. How does that happen? Either they let them play and they, they let they, them play. They was letting them play or they was. And whose right. decision was it to let them play? The league, for sure. Uh, there y'all go. Conspire. Hey, it's excuses and results. It ain't no conspire. Excuses, hey, it's excuses and results. If you blow them out by twenty, it don't matter. Yeah, it gotta be. Uh, it gotta be. You got. It, that's how you overcome that, though. For real, you gotta be able. You gotta be scoring points. A lot of them to where the calls don't matter as much. Hey, because if if that's the case, Iowa would have won then. <laughs> On the girls' what? basketball team, hey, ain't no defense for uh, made shots. Show <laughs> <laughs> ain't. Ain't, ain't no defense for made ain't. shots, boy. <laughs> ain't no defense with made shots for sure, man. The machine equals Caitlin and Luca future conspiracy. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. now, hey, you, now, hey, listen, now. listen, you, you, never mind, never mind. Go ahead, E. Now, what, now, what? We'll say, now we'll say. They might want Luca. I can see the the masses wanting to see if you want to say the man <laughs> wanting to see Luca uh, get a championship. I can see that, but I just hate to see the dude play. Man, it's the ugliest player I've ever seen. Play. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over it, though. Which which one of them is the four seed? Uh, the Clip. Clippers are the four seed. Yeah. Well, they got home court. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yep. That's a, that. That settles it. Mavs in six. Well, you said the home seat. The Clippers really ain't got no home court though. <laughs> Until yeah, next season, they, they building court. it. Yeah, it's, it's built. It's, it ain't built. finished. It's finished. And, and anybody, anybody on this side of uh, uh of this this for in Riverside County, all the way to L.A. County. Ain't nothing but Lakers fans. You, you ain't gonna see no Clippers fan. Hmm. Uh, what's his name? Steve Steve Ballmer. He'll he'll buy him. There'll be fans in there. <laughs> what what uh, what other series y'all think will be interesting? Or who y'all think is the team to beat? Is it still Denver? I think it's Denver, bro. I mean, it's hard not. To, I mean, I, yeah. 
you can't discount them, but yeah, that's if, what I was. If, if the Lakers don't make it, you know, if the Lakers don't, my, my now, I will pick, say this. My, I my book pick is that Denver will not make the Western Conference Finals. What? That ain't, that ain't, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. I ain't mad at that. Who gonna put them out? I'm, I'm not sure. Wait, I'm wait. Gonna, wait. I'll, now I will say this: if the season I, finishes, if the season finishes like it and, is, right now. and Phoenix is the six seed, and OKC is the three seed. That's gonna be a series. Three six matchup. That might be a good one. Ooh, that's gonna be a series. I'm I'll tell you, what I want to see. I want to see Boston actually win, though. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Boston is the one C. Of course, they got to play him, and I just feel like they don't want to see Jimmy Butler again in the they first. Tr- round. Bo- Boston, well, in trouble. Jimmy, Jimmy got to Jimmy got to get out the plan. Yeah, yeah. I think he will. I think he'll get out the plan. I think, but Miami. They do this all the time. Like they suck in the regular season, and they put themselves in bad uh, situations. They went to play in last year and lost the first game, <laughs> so they had to win the second game in order to even make the playoffs. And you've seen what they did to Boston last year. I think that this is the make or break season for Boston. Just like he said, they gotta win it. But my God, did you see the way them boys got blasted the other night? Like they got beat by like thirty something. It was ugly. Nah, you talking about against the Knicks? Yeah. Not, I mean, the game got closer because of trash time minutes, but yeah, uh, I I think because Boston has it locked up, they got home court throughout the playoffs. They, they coast the way they coast. Them. You, can, you don't do that. You don't do that, right? You you play to the final buzzer, but I understand how injuries is, you know. And then once they once once the game was really really out of hand, the starters was out at the end of the third quarter, right? The game was over, but um, I don't want to take too much stock in the fact that that was the outcome of the game. That the Knicks, I think it's I think it's more so a testament to how the Knicks look than it is how Boston looks, right? At this at this stage in the season, you can kind of expect Boston to taper off just a little bit and, and ramp up for the playoffs. But the Knicks are still fighting for a better playoff position. Yeah. So it's like you know the Knicks kind of took a chance. They saw it. They took it and. Good on them for for making and and Jalen Brunson had an incredible game. I watched that game. It was you know they was hooping. They couldn't miss, right? Yeah. yeah. I just I think I think that's more like I said. I think it's more focused on how good New York was playing versus looking at it as how bad Boston was playing. Everybody is due for one of those games anytime in the season. I hope you're right. I hope hey, you're man, right. L- looking at the contracts Boston giving out, they ain't gonna have a four <laughs> players on, on the uh, contract <laughs> next year. <laughs> Boy. Uh, this year, if they lose again, if they don't win at all this year, because I mean that team has been, you know, Jason Tatum and, and Jalen Brown's team. They've moved some of the, a lot of the pieces around them, and everybody getting the bag. I was shocked. And, 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 and these bags are untradeable. You like, can't, you, you it, can't, you it, can't it, trade it, Jalen Brown. Yeah, with that, with that like, not, not for real, unless you're just willing to take your losses and not get equal value for them. That'll be the only reason why you will be willing to trade them. I mean, you know, why other teams will be willing to take that kind of money on for that length of time. But I hope you're right. But Boston, I seen them blow a 30 point lead against the Hawks early. I seen them lose to the, 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 the uh, a Grizzlies team where I only knew two people on there and I watch basketball. Yeah, like I've crazy. seen them do some some crazy stuff, and I hope that's not a sign of things to come. Because I like Jason Tatum, I like Jalen Brown. I think them boys is cold, and I just don't know if that pairing is going to be able to win a toughness. ring. And, and enough toughness in Boston. That might be. It true. Might it's, never... it, it, it's just not. La- last thing, and this is la- this is the last thing before we uh before we end it. Talk about that Western Conference playing right now is uh, Phoenix yeah. number seven. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, Phoenix number seven, Kings number eight, and I'm about to uh, look it up for you right now. I get, War- I get you, the, I get you the for War- sure. Warriors nine and Lakers ten. Is That's that it? Exactly what it is. It's Pelicans six. Well, they don't count in the play in, but Suns seven, Kings eight, Lakers nine, Warriors ten. But all of those are separated by two games, and it's like two games. Some of them got two, some of them got one game left. So, so and Phoenix, and Phoenix Sacramento, Sacramento, Golden State, and LA are all locked into the play in. Mm hmm. The only thing everybody is locked. The only thing is New Orleans and Phoenix. The last two games can decide who's six and who's seven. Mm-hmm. But okay. if the season was to end today, Phoenix would be seven, hosting Sacramento in the playing game. Okay, yeah. so how y'all see the playing game? Uh, let's start with the uh, the nine ten game, which is uh, the Warriors and Lakers. Well, Golden State will be hosting that one too. I feel like that's a a, a major key. Although they've been actually better on the road this year than they was last year. I commend them for that. 
because they were atrocious last year. Uh, of course, I'm going with L.A., but I'm a little nervous because I just seen them play the Lakers not too long ago. And I Washed think, them. My yeah, God. I, I think, they, hit a se- they hit a season high in 26 threes or something like that. Yeah, they, they hit like was they were shooting from the free throw line like 65% or something. No, yeah. from the three-point line, 65%. Yeah, it was something crazy. So, But if they could take some of them threes down, L.A. got a chance. Yeah, and, and and what I will say is all of them, the last three seeds, got the same record. So who hosts the games? They're all in the play-in, but who hosts the game could change within the next couple of games. And I think- AD didn't play on that game either, though. So. He didn't. He did If AD plays, uh, he, he always too much for the Warriors. Uh, so yeah. I would go with the Lakers if AD is healthy. Yeah, and that's then, fair. Uh, and then Phoenix and Kings, it can go either way, too. But I, I, I will go Phoenix and then um, – Mm. I don't know about Phoenix, man. I just seen them get brutalized. Not too long. Oh, no, nah, but then yeah. hold on. But the next night they got their get back and beat them by uh by twenty. Yeah, but they sat, but they sat they sat the starters in uh and the L A uh, starters weren't playing. It was right. no Harden, no Westbrook, no Kawhi, no PG thirteen. Yeah, and and, they, and they and they barely took care of uh, took care of business. So yeah, you you right. The Kings could absolutely take care. Of, but the Kings are the the Kings are uh uh are on a on a downtrend as well. Mm-hmm. So they it ain't it ain't like they uh hit fine on our cylinders, but I would say Suns would get that game and they'll get the seventh seed, and then the Kings would be playing the Lakers uh for the eight seed, and I think the Lakers would get that. Thank you, man. That's, That's fair. That's fair. That's, That's fair. fair. That's fair. I'm not mad, especially if AD playing. AD is a game changer in the these playing games. Like he has to be. AD and he has to be the, one of the best players. Um, I think that the Kings have been running too much of their offense through Sabonis, honestly. Um, as far as playmaking, um, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of him getting the ball at the uh at the free throw line, and the exactly. only thing he can do from the free throw line is a dribble handoff. That's it, or like, or, or a pocket pass. He's much. not a scoring threat from the free throw line whatsoever. And I wa- I watched them play Zion the other night. Mm-hmm. And the Pelicans just embarrassed them, man. And they kept going to that free throw line to Sabonis, and he could do nothing from the free throw line. Mm-hmm. That's like that junk is not it, like they seen them do it all last year. It was catching people by surprise last year, but now everybody, everybody know that he can't he can't score from there. Yeah, he can't. He's not a scorer from there. So the only thing he's going to do is try to pass the ball to some cutters or a dribble handoff. He's not. He don't have no free throw line extended consistent jump shot. He's not gonna blow past nobody with speed or quickness or athleticism. Like stop running the offense through him. They're trying to make him Jokic, and I don't like that. Like you, you don't, you not that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you not, you not that. And I like Sabonis's game, and I think in the beginning, like like Mel said, it was good to see, and it was different to see because they, you know, they had recently traded for him, and him and Fox was working. But that's Fox's team. Let it be Fox's team. Let him be the primary doggone distributor. If you're not gonna make him the primary score at the end of the day, yeah, Keegan Murray is looking real good. You're right. All right, question for the panel at this point, and 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 we'll end it after this. Uh, what is really what what is LeBron playing for? The longer he plays without winning the chip, and make him look old. No, no, Diddy. <laughs> uh. He he playing so he can play with his son number one and number two the uh, the, the stat goes. pad chase that pad. I, th- yeah. I seen them. what game was that they were lo- was it the, the 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 Warriors game where they were losing pretty badly and he was still in the game I hmm. didn't understand that <laughs> hey hey I'm gonna be honest with you though uh, I think he's I really think he's just hanging around for his son to get in the league to be honest yeah, I think so too and I'm thinking yeah. Bronny is starting to lean towards actually not transferring and really really going to the league like we spoke about last week. I think yeah, that, I think so too. Yeah, I, I think so. I think that's all. I think that's the only reason he's still there. Because if he does win the championship, he'll tie Michael Jordan with six championships. Huh? Yep. Man, hey, hey, get him out of here! Fact. Get him out of here! Yeah, he, he already at five. Hey, real quick before we get out of here, though, real, real, real quick, y'all see that prototype for Wimby shoe? Nah. No, I think I seen the logo. I seen the, logo. Hey, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to y'all in the group chat, man. That shoe. They say it's the prototype, and they, they need to keep it right where the, right where it's at because that looks hideous. It's hard for Nike to make good new shoes right now, and I, like that's why they retro and everything. But um, I like his logo though. I like the I logo. Like, the logo code. Logo I code. The logo's up there. Oh, they say it was AI generated. Dino said it was AI generated. Man, they need to leave it. They they it was AI generated, but they printed it and put it on display. 
<laughs> that was terrible. So, so, yeah, they gonna make him some some crazy looking shoe because and it, his feet gonna go bad because he's seven four. So stop doing that. Just put that man in some real good shoes. That's all. I want. <laughs> well, all right, man. That's the show, man. I appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. Appreciate all the comments and the phone calls and uh, all of that. No super chats tonight. We ain't no super chats. No cash apps. But uh, yeah, man. Drink your orange juice, baby. Uh, you know, make sure it got plenty of pulp and um, whoa, and, and make sure it's uh, it's all natural uh, juice. No diddy, you know? no diddy. All right, man. I right, holler at y'all. All right, man. Catch y'all on the next episode. Peace. <laughs>